Hello everyone, it's Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Welcome to a all floor mat Pilates workout targeting your inner and outer thighs today. I'm using ankle weights, so these are optional and I've also got a cushion for a little bit more comfort. So grab those props if you wish. We're gonna get into a little bit of mobility, one exercise and then head into the good juicy stuff to tone through, through the inner and outer thigh. So get started in 10 seconds time. Meet me in a four point kneel, hands stacked underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We'll take some big hip circles to warm everything up. Let's begin opening the knee out to the side, waving it back down. Exhale, open, inhale down. Keep going, you might like to rest onto that left forearm. And we're just trying to loop everything up through that hip socket. Large circles, turning the knee up and around. So each exercise will be 45 seconds. We have no rest today. So I'll cue you through and transition you. So just keep listening and you will feel a good burn. We finish with a nice, beautiful stretch. 10 seconds remaining here. Then we'll jump straight to the second side. Okay, second side, knee out and around, left side. Open out and around. You can drop onto that right elbow. Just really stirring that femur in the socket, getting the blood flowing, getting that mobility so we can get the most out of this workout. So stay with me for this mobility. We're then gonna lay onto our left side first. So resting on the left side for a locked clam. We've got 13 seconds. Last three, laying on the left side in two, in one. Okay, hook that right knee, no, right foot over your ankle and we're turning that knee up. Let it lower down. Breath out, open the knee up and lower. Left leg is straight, heavy onto the floor. You're using your abs to keep you nice and still and that top hand for a bit of support. So again, that foot's just hooked just behind that left ankle. We're really feeling that Burn, coming in through that side booty. It's pretty instant on this one. Last five. Keep the knee turned out on the next one. Hold, drag that toe along the inside to your knee, kicking the leg up, flex the foot, Pull the leg back to snap together. So toe drags on the inside, seam up towards the sky, flex the foot, heels squeeze together, finish each rep. Continue to keep that knee turned up for that little releve, kick it up and snap it back together. Keep going. We have a double leg lift with a little snap in three, two, heels together on one. From here, rest all the way down, lift the legs, release the bottom leg, snap it back up. So we lift both legs up, bottom leg lowers, rejoins and then lowers together. Double leg lift, little snap and lower. All right, eight seconds. We'll fold at those knees. We have some internal rotation. In one, fold at your knees. From here, turn your toes up to the sky, knees together, and then float the leg up, keeping that internal rotation, tapping the knee back down. So continuing here, and we're just thinking about floating up, lightly tapping, keeping the toes and the heel up and down. Yeah. 
Okay, hold the next one up, turn your knee up to the sky, heels together. Big circle with that knee up and over to tap the knee to knee. Little semicircle, heel to heel. Open it up, nice and slow, take your time. Try and move through that full range. The movement's coming from the hip. I'm just guiding that knee into that semicircle shape, but it's coming from here like a key, turning in the lock. Ooh, this one gets deep. It gets deep and real here. Staying with me, breathe through. Woo, extend that left leg long. We're gonna lift the leg up, little pulse and lower. So you can come up onto your left elbow if you wish and a little pulse, pulse and down. If you wanna add your arm in, you can. But it's just all about that adductor here. Now, really important, keeping your toe turned outwards so we can light up through those adductors here. Nice and slow on the way down. We have a quick transition coming up. We're gonna take it straight to the second side. To do the hip mobility, we'll go straight into that first exercise. Side lying, locked clam in three, Last one, two, and one. Swing it around to that right side. All right, so we're gonna lock that left foot over and just turn that knee up and let it lower. Waking up those left glutes now. So hips are stacked, left hip pointing straight forward. This knee is dropping into internal rotation. So it does kind of light up a bit quicker than our traditional Clemmies. Both legs long, drag on the inside, extending the leg up, flex the foot all the way down. Pull it up, slide, extend, and snap those heels back together. Good. We have that double leg lift with that snap coming up. On the next one, both legs long, lay all the way down, lift both legs, release the bottom, snap it back up and lower. Keep going, up, lower, snap and down. Internal rotation coming up next. We'll fold at the knees. Last one, fold at the knees. All right, float that foot up to the sky. Float the leg up, lightly tapping the knee to knee. So heel rises up, we lightly tap, pull it up. Movements coming deep in that socket. So this is a breakdown for the next exercise where we add that external component in. Doing so well. Kick it up. All right, turn the knee up, tap the heel to heel and semi-circle knee to knee. Big rainbow up, tap, and down.
This one is so unbelievably burny. It's so effective. I hope you are feeling it. I hope, I hope. Let's keep going. We've got one more here in this side lying position. Inner thigh. Whew. All right, extend that right leg and we're gonna come up, little pulse, pulse and lower. Up, up and lower. You don't have to use the arm, you can just use the leg. Thinking about activating here, up, up and down. Our final two exercises coming up are a glute bridge variation. So I'll meet you laying down onto your back very shortly. We'll do a little butterfly action with those legs. So inner thigh focus. All right, laying onto your back. Heels together, toes apart. Roll up into your bridge and tap. Squeeze your knees together and then open them back out. Keep the hips high. We're just fanning those knees open and shut. Halfway on this one already. We'll be up on our tippy toes and feet right together. After this, last one, squeeze your knees and feet together, lift your heels, little pulses up and down through those hips. Last one, let's feel it right to the end. Arms to the sky if you want more. Squeeze, really wrap it in here. Heels up as high as you can. This is it team, last little bit. Good, pump it up, nearly there. Breathe. All right, we get a stretch. Whew, a frog stretch. So let's bring those knees wide. Let's send your chest down. Let your feet turn out if that feels natural and just lower that chest down, feeling a nice little froggy stretch. Cool it down here. You can take a little rock from side to side. All right, so let those knees just slide apart and we rock back and forward. 10 more rocks and then you're all finished for nine, eight, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And that completes your all floor Pilates inner outer thigh workout. 12 minutes long, I hope that you enjoyed. Do leave a comment down below if you did like the video and feel free to share this workout with a friend or family member. This truly does support me and helps my videos to be seen so I can train more of you. I'm Jacinta from Posture Tonic and I will see you back here for our next workout together really soon.